hi yes hello and welcome back to another millennial movie monday if you're new here hi my name is ashley and if you're a returner welcome back i'm a millennial who likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time i give you a preview review which is what i think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture we watch it together edit it of course because copyright and then i give you my review did i like it did i not like it did it stand the test of time and i give it stars all based on personal preference and what the hell do I know? So today's movie, if you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, is the highly requested, highly anticipated, highly sent to my P.O. box, the 1999 the Green Mile. I have been told that I am going to sob, so today was probably a bad day to do my makeup. At least it's the last thing I'm gonna film today, so if I do boohoo and ruin my makeup, at least it's the last thing I'm filming. So anyways, my shirt today, dance your ass off that's from footloose so the only thing that i know about this movie or i think i know about this movie is the fact that you guys have told me that i'm gonna cry y'all told me that i need to have my box of tissues ready now i'll be honest with you somebody was nice enough to make me this custom tissue box holder that literally says am i gonna cry do i have tissues in it no so i don't have kleenexes so if i cry we're just gonna be snotting all over the place we're gonna have eyeliner drip dripping baby we're just gonna own it i don't know what this movie is about i don't know who is in this film i think it is a, isn't it based off of a book i did see where it is three hours and eight minutes long so i think this is officially going to be the longest movie i have watched on this channel it makes me a little scared y'all know me and my little goldfish attention span i hear this is like one of the greatest films so maybe i'll stay interested in like I know I've looked up a couple movie posters recently, but I don't know anything about this film and who's in it, so let's just look it up. So this is what I'm looking at. Already excited. Y'all know I am a hoe for Tom Hanks. Paul Edcom, Edgecombe, Edcombe? I don't know. Didn't believe in miracles until the day he met one. The Green Mile from the director of Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> And I cried in that one. Okay, well, I love Tom Hanks. I loved Shawshank. Uh, and I cried in Shawshank. Let me tell you something. If there's another Brooks moment in this, in this, in this movie, we're done. We're done. We're out of here. Because Brooks killing himself was just like it for me. Oh, I'm nervous. Am I going to big cry? Am I going to big cry? Should I get beans in here for emotional support? Beans. Be beans. Kitty, 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 kitty. I'm going to watch a sad movie. Beans. Okay, no emotional support for me, no Kleenexes. Let's just dive head first. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, which is the 1999 The Green Mile. If I'm a cry, I at least need to be hydrated, you know? Is this a manhunt? Are we searching for somebody? Okay, this is giving me much hope about not crying because we're in a nursing home and I tell you what, old people just make me sob. Why does she kind of look like an old Sigourney Weaver? I like to walk. Is this gonna be the opposite of Forrest Gump? Oh Lord, this old man gonna walk and a big storm's coming! Oh, this, somebody get the silver alert ready because I, I see it coming. He's not a good no, father. Yes! Chicken. Jerry Springer! I love it! Bunch of inbred trailer trash. All they ever talk about is... <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong about what they talk about. I don't know this movie. But they are clearly taken back to their prime. They are clearly in it. Oh, I can't watch old people cry! I can't watch old people cry! in charge of death row that I supervised all the executions. Oh my god, this is... I'm not ready. I'm not ready! The floor was the color of faded limes. What a hideous floor. <laughs> ah, back when horns sounded like oog. I love those. Ah, look at that old phone. Tom, you okay? Oh, he has the urinary tract infection. Why didn't he go to the doctor about this? How big is this person? Why does that guy keep yelling dead man? Why? Why? Just stop. Are you really trying to taunt this man who's like three sizes bigger than you? A dead man walking here. Yo, look at the size of his arms. He could put my head right in his little elbow pit and just crush it. Just 
Mm-mm. I don't care where you go, Percy. Just a moment's not here at this very moment. <laughs> Percy, GTFO! You know what? Honestly, Percy needs to be knocked down a couple pegs. Let him stay in that cell. I wipe that grin off your shit poke face. Okay, so Percy's awful. Got that. I am once again asking, is that, is this his real size? Like, this is not exaggerated. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? You scared of the dark? Because I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. Me too, buddy! Oh, you guys, this is not going to go well for me, is it? This is not going to go well for me! Good God, look at that man's hand. He could simply put it on my face and throw me through a wall. Make your blood curdle. But is it true, though? Why were the girls asleep on the front porch? Why weren't they in the house? Just seems like an odd place to sleep. That's all I'm saying. What you doing over there? What you yelling about over there? What happened? I mean, I know he's holding two bloody bodies of his daughters, but like, ha there has to be a story here. What happened? What what did he do to them? Or what happened to them? And <laughs> Oh, there's blood everywhere. There's a lot of blood. Tried to take it back. What does that mean? I need the whole story right now. Right now. <laughs> Ordered Poissy Wetmore off the block? It is. Yeah, because he's awful. He was harassing the inmates on just like, for no reason. Little Percy calls his aunt, squeals like a... So he whines and gets nepotism, got it. The mental hospital. Administration job, better pay. I don't think he should go work at a mental hospital. I don't think he's the kind of person that needs to do that. I think he just wants to see one cook up close. What a gross way to say that. Also, did they shoot this at the same, as, at the same prison as Shawshank Redemption? D-O-E, that's what that means. Cause I was like dead on arrival, but arrival starts with A. And that's on spelling, kids. Are we gonna find out what happened? And are we gonna find out if he's wrongly accused? I think I have something to help you sleep. Ma'am. Also, Sexy Time oh, would fix God. a lot of things, but I don't think reading a very detailed description as to why this man is going to get killed in July is, uh, I don't think, I don't think that's one of the things that it's gonna fix. Let him be sad. Oh, little mouse. Hey, little baby, what are you doing? Oh, he's cute. Were you hungry? Oh, he was hungry. Saw me a mouse go by. Put anything over on you. <laughs> you let him get past you. No, I did not. <laughs> hey, little baby. I'm glad you made it. That's a damn mouse. Yeah. Yes, y'all are all very observant. You come right on up to the desk. Okay, so this man is like a psycho. Okay, so Percy's a psychopath. He just wants to hurt and kill something. I'm gonna squish a little son of a bitch. Squish? Why do you say it like that? I think of it as a bucket of piss to drown rats in. Okay, Percy's gotta go. You done? You done? I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. Two rehearsals? Rehearsals for what? Mile, working the mile. Rehearsing working the mile. to take them to the electric chair. Never do it again, that's for sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, cause you're gonna be dead. I don't know how it works. I don't know how to, I mean, I, I know how an electric chair works, but I don't know. You would condemn to die by a jury. Looks like I'm gonna learn today. I got to have Mae West sit on my face cause I'm one horny mother. to say I'd make it ridiculous too. Hell, I don't blame him one bit. I think that's great. Where's my poster of Mae West when I need it? Oh, no, do they cover blood. people's heads when you electrocute them? I didn't know that. I didn't realize they rehearsed these things. I'm a done Tom turkey. <laughs> you know, I don't blame him for having a good time. Hell, he's gonna die tomorrow. What's it matter? I find it shockingly funny. But I'm tired. They're setting up chairs people can watch executions? Oh, well, this is way back in the day. I guess so. What a weird event to attend. You mean tell me people look at used to look at each other and be like, well, Earl Dickerson getting electrocuted today. Might as well go on. So wait, when they were rehearsing with the other guy, he had a gun in his hand. Like just in case the electrocution doesn't kill a person. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. Lord, that much water. How are they not being waterboarded at the same time? You know what I mean? Okay, Percy psycho ass is enjoying this. Oh my god, he's smoking. Does that really happen? He's not dead? Again? Again? Let's know if it's hot enough. 
Percy! Oh, why? What an actual piece of shit. What's up his ass? You! You. <laughs> you gotta be close enough to smell his nuts cook. Oh my god! This is so graphic. You know yeah, what, if honestly, no. if it got rid of him faster, I would let him do it. I'd let him be right there. Honestly, you know what, Percy? Why don't you have your hand on the chair? Our big friend is not doing good. I don't dim it out mouths. Aww, they're best friends! His name is Mr. Jingles! I am loving this adventure! Stop it! Stop it! I am so invested in this mouse's life! You know what? We ought to find a cigar bar. Why the sudden change of heart? I don't trust this guy. Finally hit the big time. And by doing what? Three people and hold up. One of them a pregnant woman. Oh, that'll do it. That will get you there. It's a tumor, Paul. Mm. It's a tumor! That's inappropriate right now. I'm very sorry. Oh, and of course he's going to lay in bed and look at his wife, who's healthy and alive, and just stew over his boss's wife's terminal diagnosis. Oh my god, sometimes I forget that outhouses were a thing. And they weren't, in, you know, in the grand scheme of time, they weren't that long ago. My god, you have got to go to the doctor. See Dr. Bishop, I'm going. Good, about time. Look more like a lamp noodle to me. Hey. Percy, don't start your shit right now. <laughs> Also, is there not a doctor on site for these, you know, for like the prisoner? Why can't he just go and see the prisoner doctor, you know what I mean? I don't know if that's how prison works. I've never been to prison, but like, I would think having an in-house doctor would be the safest route. Could be wrong though. Careful. Careful? Is he faking? Is he faking? Well, Percy, don't be a little chicken shit. You want to be in battle. Let's go, my guy. Percy. You've been begging to hurt someone for days now. You had the chance and didn't do it. Yeah, y'all were worried about the big was... dude. You need to watch out for the scrawny white guys. You know what? If the guy hadn't chosen a life of crime, he definitely could have been an actor because we all believed it. We all thought he was doped up. It's okay. Just lay down. Just take a breather. It's okay. Just to help. What are we doing? What are we doing? Did he just grab his balls so hard that a light bulb blew? Uh. What did you just do to me? Uh. What did he just do in general? So did he just heal his pee pee and then burp fireflies? That's a good piss, isn't it? Can we talk about how this man just cured your UTI? What did the doctor say? <laughs> Honey, that dress ain't doing nothing for her ass. You just looked at a floral pattern and was like, hell yeah, I'm going to tap that. Let's do tonight. That ain't the only thing you cooking up tonight, you know what I'm saying? What does it feel like? <laughs> I would give my left kidney to be her and Tom Hanks doing that to me. Oh my God. Oh. 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 And that too. That too. We haven't gone four times in one night since we were nine. Four times? I'm thinking of taking the morning off sick. You cover the fort for me? Oh, I thought he was taking the morning off. To... <laughs> I thought he was taking the morning off to keep having sex. I didn't realize he was going to do something. <laughs> well, y'all know where my brain is in this moment after that scene. Causing you problems? No, no. Actually fixing a couple. There doesn't seem to be any real violence in him. Mm-mm. Well. Uh, Mr. Hammersmith, I deal with him. I mean, he did grab your out. shirt and then, like, just <laughs> your junk, so. Everyone is entitled to defense. And also just because you're holding the, like, he could have just been the one that found the bodies, you know? How are you going to compare a human to a dog? I see the analogy. I understand what he's saying, but, like, not the same. So like when he was holding the dead bodies of the little girls and he was like, I can't take it back. Was he trying to fix them like he did his UTI? Loma. I was just wondering if the mouse ever got his cig cigar box. Smelling me some cornbread. Aw, oh, hell yeah, cornbread! Oh. <laughs> was your missus please? Several times. <laughs> Can I get Dale, Mr. Jangleson? I love that he shared his cornbread with the man and the mouse. I'm gonna get some too, innit? I think I'll just keep the rest. 
I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> Mr. Jingle, so excited! Mr. Jingle, thank you. My mama will thank you too, but she did. <laughs> you big dummy. No, 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 sir. Not here. Not him. Not in front of me. <coughs> wow. <laughs> yeah! He just pissed on him? Okay, so this guy is unhinged. He is unhinged. Son of a bitch pissed on me. Okay, he looks really familiar too. Why did they have a man on death row with a belt? Piss on me. <laughs> so real question, what does that do? Does it hurt? I would guess so. I mean, that's a big ass water hose. Like, that would sting, right? No, I'll be good. No, nah, you going in? It's too late now. You done pissed on somebody? <laughs> Christ, oh, that worked in your other place. It ain't gonna work here. Hey, Billy! Oh, turn out the lights. Oh, I could never. I'm too scared of the dark. I simply could never. Ah, uh, RC Cola. We just need a moon pie. Oh hell yeah, moon pies. Oh my god. Oh my god. Honestly, that is so impressive. So impressive. I would simply choke to death. No! 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 Where did you no. think you were gonna go, you dumb asshat? It was pretty original, gotta give him that. It was. You're not wrong. Politician all the way from the state capitol, I believe. Really? Is Mr. Jingles about to get Dale out of jail? He's never had to wear no damn tie before. Oh, this isn't real? He's not really performing for a... All right, everybody have a seat. This is all a joke? So he literally wants to be the one... He doesn't want to just watch someone die. He wants to be the one to make the call to kill someone. We're happy for you. <laughs> Percy, what? I don't trust you. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Get that up. man was having a great yeah. day. And you ruined it, Percy. No, you grab the wrong guard, man. Kill him. Nobody cares about him. Uh -oh. Yes, home. Do you know what? Honestly, that's the first thing that man has done. Where I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> he pissed his pants. Listen, I don't want to see anybody harassed or assaulted. So I don't want to say he deserved it. But out of everybody that Billy the Kid could have done that too. I'm glad it was Percy. You embarrassed? You very embarrassed? You thought you were big tough until somebody until somebody threatened you? First you went more do a dance. Listen to him squishing in his pants. <laughs> Shit. I gotta open this door. It's hot in here. Well. Listen, I don't know what things? makes you think I'm gonna cry at this movie. I know something bad's gonna happen, but is it gonna be to Mr. Jingles? Mr. Jingle, he'd be he be scared to live out in the big woods. Yeah, I think he likes to live in prison. Toilet paper rolls, little windows, so you can look in. I love Dale, and I'm very sad. I'm so sad! <gasps> well, I knew I'd get him sooner or later. I said what I said, and y'all know fully damn well that that was about to happen! Hurry! Hurry! If it says Mr. Jagles, give it to the man. This is simply not how I thought this movie was gonna go. Like, do we find out why he can do these things? Okay, so he coughs up bugs every time he does something. Mr. Jingles is back. F you, Percy. Never belonged here in the first place. Kind of like you. I put you up front for Dale. We're, we're killing Dale next? I'd get that shit in writing with this guy. I don't trust him. I wouldn't just take his word on it. I would get it in writing. You are Delacroix when you step forward. I said to give up to John! You didn't. Fucking Mr. Jingles, man! Fucking Mr. Jingles. Okay. I really like Dale. I really like him. And I feel like he's about to get so done so dirty by Percy. <laughs> It'd be so quiet, so still. Quiet as a mouse, as some might say. That's just a fairy tale. Stomach is in knots. Yeah, right, 
Right, there's no water on the floor. There's no water. What does this mean? What does this mean? Call it off. You watch, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you did it. You did it. Make him watch. I thought he was going to say blue blazes, and I was like, not the time. Not the correct analogy. What in the hell happened in execution? Pin it on Percy! I didn't know the sponge was supposed to be wet. Which is a lie. You're about ten seconds away from spending the rest of your life in the padded room. I haven't said anything in a very long time, because I just, it's a lot. Everything is so much, and I am so mad on so many levels. And I swear to God, if Percy does not transfer, I'm gonna punch a wall. I just need a second. I had every emotion. All of them. She swears, just pops out. Well, same. She doesn't even know she's doing it. Oh, I know I'm doing it. There are just so many things happening at once in this movie. There's just a lot, a lot, a lot. You gonna hog all them taters? Yes, I am. Same. I also love a good mashed potato. Came home that day, he was all better. Spry. Very spry. Praise Jesus, Mary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, We prayed four times that night. That way you could deny everything. Why do I have to stay behind? Somebody's got to be the good guy in this. And let's not forget, John Coffey is a murderer. Would a murderer cure a UTI and heal a mouse? I love how the wife is like on board for this plan. She's never met this man, has no idea what he looks like, but she's like, you know what? My husband and I, we were it. And then one night he came home healed four times. I believe in him. <laughs> Miracle worker. <laughs> Once again, do we really want somebody like Percy to be... Do we really want somebody like him to be in a mental hospital taking care, taking care of patients? Ah, oh, we're gonna help him get some good sleep so we can sneak out John. The only caveat is you don't get a moon pie this time because you have a habit of spitting them in people's faces. <laughs> Are you sleepy? You a little tired? You want to take a nap? Take your little nippity nap. That okay? Did they kill him? Because that looks more like a dead face than like a sleep face. That'd be just fine. I'd like to take a ride. See, how'd he know? How'd he know he was going on an adventure? What is this? Oh. <laughs> Yes! Huh? Oh, big off. man is ripping your ears off! Would that really rip your ears off? Like, how much force would it take to rip off someone's ears? <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with that. Would have liked it better if somebody would have beat his ass, but I'm happy with that. How'd he fight through all that sleep medicine? <laughs> take one of your batons and hit that dude in the arm! Make him let go of John! My allergies could never, could never let me do that. So it's just like a feeling he gets. Why does he have this healing here? Do we find that out? I just have so many questions. Now how can they be sure that the husband, the dude, is not going to tell on all them? Like even if it does save his wife. Oh Christ, Paul, what were we thinking? I was going to say, y'all are at the house. Y'all can't be backing out now. Just say you can heal her. Say you can heal her. How? don't you want to take this risk on helping your wife? Why is she giving me exorcist vibes? So he's really, t he's really taking the phrase kiss and make it better, like very literally. Burp out your little bees or whatever. There was no tumor. <laughs> oh, good for you stepping in. Good for you stepping in. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I am honestly surprised that the only time I've come, come close to super losing it was when he stepped on Mr. Jingles. <coughs> he hasn't copped up his little fireflies or whatever. Wear it for me. This is so nice and special. <coughs> we gotta get him to cough up them little bugs. What the hell happened to him? He's hiding me. Listen, we'll fill you in in a second. Let's just get him back in the cell first. I take that tape off. You're gonna be calm. No. When has he been calm this entire film? Right now. I want out now. <coughs> we said be calm, bitch. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. Give him the bugs. Give him the bugs. 
He really is giving him the lady's brain tumor. Well, Percy, you done pissed your pants and ate like a shit ton of bugs in this cell. Like, I don't, I don't feel bad for him in this moment, but like, you good, bro? What? I am like... <sighs> what? I filed that under things I did not see coming. I saw what Wild Billy does so plain as day. Oh my god, oh my god, that's terrifying. Oh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. You yes. could just tell me. You don't have to show me. I don't want to. Thank you, though. Oh, these are the girls that he was found holding. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna kill her instead of you. Yo, this is so f***ed up. All of it. Every bit of it. Person, I never would have thought, now, ever, know. that these were connected. Ever, 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 ever. Speak up, you can Percy's hear gonna go to that mental institution, but he's not gonna be a guard there. Plot twist, this is actually a prequel to One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I mean, how do you know that he's innocent and you still have to execute him? Like, I can't imagine. I just don't know how I'm gonna handle this, you guys. I just don't know! <laughs> Maybe some of the fine cornbread your missus make. I'm on all this except the meatloaf. I would not choose meatloaf as the last meal. I'm tired of people. It must be something that you want. Meatloaf. He just wants meatloaf, man. This is why he was crying in the nursing home! Oh my god! Pink cheek to cheek. I can't talk about it. I'm rethinking about the old man in the nursing home. I'm rethinking about him in the nursing home crying! This is the heart. You are the one that's supposed to be freaking out right now. You're not supposed to be comforting us. Those two look blind. Please, Shawshank Redemption out of this shit. Please, let there be a hole in the wall. Oh, I simply couldn't. I would simply just, I would simply be losing it. How I have kept it this together today, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry for what I am. Don't apologize for what you are. Because you're not a killer. Don't put me in the dark. Because he's scared of the dark. Oh! What happened? Come on, just get it over with already. Just, I don't, I don't mean it like that, but. He kill them when they love. <sighs> you gotta get it back. He left his eyes open so he wouldn't be in the dark. Do you feel up to taking a walk? Has he been keeping a son? In the shack in the woods? Wake up, old fella. No. No! Oh my god. Oh, Mr. Jingles, you're so old. You're so slow, baby. I'm so glad you're doing good. <laughs> That's okay, buddy. You're doing great. Oh my god. You look so sharp. He infected us both, didn't he, Mr. Jingles, with life. I'm so happy Mr. Jingles is alive! <laughs> 108 years old. Elaine. Jesus Christ! Friends and loved ones die off. <laughs> I'm so unwell! Why should Kyle look like Kathy Bates there? Mr. Oh, Jingles. he came back! <laughs> Mr. Jingles came back whenever John died, so he could be together with their newfound, like, semi-eternal life. Based on a novel by Stephen King. I, I thought it was based on a move or on a book. <sighs> Let's talk about it. What a good movie. What a good movie. It didn't feel like three hours at all. You know, his little speech, his little monologue at the end about like, you know, your personal green mile and how long it is.
y'all are probably so sick of me saying shit like this. Uh, <laughs> Mammy used to say that the days are long, but the years are short, you know? It's so true. <laughs> oh my god, I could <laughs> God, I could not, I could not be an executioner, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh my God, I think, <laughs> I think the reason why I'm just now like getting emotional is because I was really caught up with like the bugs coming out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I feel dumb. I shouldn't, don't feel dumb because of your emotions. Emotions are fine, I don't feel dumb, I don't feel dumb. I think I didn't cry in the moment because I was really caught up in the story of like him being a miracle worker and I wanted like to find out why he, he had that and I guess it doesn't matter why he had that, it's the fact that like he had it, you know? That really sucks. Oh my God, I never, <laughs> I never would have guessed that Bill was the one that killed the little girls. Oh my god. And they both died. Oh. God. <laughs> wow, that's just a profound movie, ain't it? Oh man, did I get you? Did <laughs> I get you on it? Oh my god, could you imagine living to be 108 and like you lose everybody? And how awful it is for Paul to live that old knowing that John was innocent the entire time and you can't prove it. What an awful feeling to have for the rest of your life and you don't even know how long your life is gonna be. Why doesn't he just bring Mr. Jingles to the, to the nurse at home. That way he wouldn't have to walk so far. He could just keep him in like a cupboard or something. I think I'm also really upset because I really liked Dale. I don't know what he did to end up, you know, with a life, you know, with a death sentence. But I really liked him and it just really sucks. <laughs> oh my God, Mr. Jingles fucking loved Dale so much. <laughs> So, <clears throat> this movie did not feel like three hours. <sighs> I'm really glad I filmed that other movie first. Is this something that I will turn around and watch again tomorrow? No. Is this something everybody needs to see? Yes. The Green Mile, five out of five stars. Oh my God. Tears, sweat, ugh. Oh. I just. I gotta do something about this, I'll tell you that. I need to recompose myself. I don't regret watching it, not one bit. This movie was amazing. I just need to, I think I just need to go cry it out a little bit more and uh, maybe listen to some music or go eat a grilled cheese or something. Five out of five stars. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. Thank you so much for watching this review. <laughs> end it when I've when I've cried this much I don't know I don't know how to end it thanks for watching like subscribe stick around uh links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube verse coming up this Friday is defending your life from a millennial movie member I think y'all picked for me to continue the prequels on patreon in this moment I don't know just in this moment I I need to go get this makeup off my face and I need to go cry it out a little bit so, I'll see you right back here on Friday with hopefully a little bit happier of a movie. But please stick around. Alright, see you later.